Okay, welcome back to another <laughs> video in this series. This series is going to go on for a while, I have a feeling, because this is a big project that I'm tackling. But these two bins right here, sorry about my cat. He's just, he thinks I'm talking to him, so he always talks back when I'm filming. <laughs> so anyway, this top bin here, this is actually stuff that needs listed, both bins, I should say, not just the top one. Um, these, this is my death pile. So I have two bins here of stuff to um, list. Now, a lot of this is not hanging items. Otherwise, it would have been hung up. Some of it is, so I can hang those items up. But I need to go through and photograph these items so I can clear out this bin because I'm going to use this bin and that one to um, organize and put away some of the excess inventory that's under here. And I think I'm going to go, obviously, like one bag at a time. I'm going to try to empty a bag and then I'll remove it so I'm not tempted to put more stuff in there as I'm, you know, photographing new items. So that's the plan. So for right now, I'm going to start by emptying this bin out, um, photographing what I need to photograph in here or just hanging it up to be photographed later if I can, um, and getting through as much of this as possible to make room for some of that. So that's the plan. And voila, I got this one emptied. So a lot of it was shoes that need cleaned. So what I actually did, well, as long as I was emptying this, I started a bag of shoes that need cleaned and I took all of the shoes that I have right now that need cleaned and moved them to this bag. They were kind of like in an Ikea bag sitting under my <laughs> photographing area, which, um, yeah, anyway. So I organized those. Now I'm gonna bring these inside to be cleaned today because I need to get, I just, I need to clean all those and stop buying shoes that need cleaned because I freaking hate it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bin with inventory from those blue Ikea bags and hopefully I can consolidate the five bags down to four. That's my plan. Let's do it. All right, so I filled the bin and then I put it underneath this bin and it still wasn't enough to even empty one of these bags yet. Ugh, there's just so much stuff down here. So I, I don't know what to do uh, other than what I've been doing, which is, you know, decrease my listing and do sales, which I've been doing. So Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update where that got me. Okay, just a little bit of an update. Um, I did this off camera, but I just pulled out my sales for the day. And because I did that, I had some bags to put away um, some of the inventory that was still under here. So that got me to the point where I now have a empty Ikea bag. Also, there's a random leaf on the floor. I think that came in off my shoe, um, but don't worry, I'll be cleaning this floor. And then in addition to that, I sold quite a few pairs of jeans. These actually are getting shipped out today. Um, and this stack is now ready to be put away. So that's going to free up some space. I wanted to show you guys though, before I put it away, I still have this stack of jeans back here that are not gonna fit in my denim shelf. So I might end up just bagging and tagging those eventually. We'll see whatever opens up room first. So now I'm down to just four Ikea bags shoved full of stuff, um, but I still have to photograph for today. So it's a never ending cycle, you guys. Every time I feel like I make a little bit of progress, I still have to keep my store going. I still have to have new items being posted. So, you know, that's just how it is. All right, I'm in my office right now, but Millie's with me. Sometimes she likes to come out here. When we're out here, I do a little work, but I usually don't get a lot done because we're never out for very long and she usually is getting in trouble. Hey, look. Oh, did you find something? So I thought real quick, I was just gonna put all these hangers in a bag so they're out of the way because I want my next project, I wanna clear off this table. It's and, mochis. Um, it is mochis. Some of this stuff needs photographed and I need a clear space to photograph in order to get them out of there, like the shoes and stuff since I got rid of my light box. So anyway, I thought I'd start with putting these hangers in a bag. Um, I probably have more hangers than I need since I'm trying to get rid of an entire rack um, on my Z rack. So anyways, I'm just gonna put these to the side and I thought I'd show you real quick what I was doing. Okay, hangers gone. So now there's a little corner. Um, I have a lot of jewelry on here that I'm sorting. So this is like, well, besides my sweater shaver that I need to find the charger for. This is just like jewelry that I bought in bulk. I was shopping shopgoodwill.com and doing like the bulk mystery jewelry boxes because it was fun, but I need to stop. It's like the thread at boxes. It's addicting, but not very practical and it's not really worth the money. This entire box right here came from Shop Goodwill. So I need to sort this. Most of it is just junk. I don't think it... I don't know if there's anything sellable to, in here, to be honest, but I do need to sort through and see if there's I'm anything baby, I can salvage. Baby. 
Hey, I'm Mochi Baby. You're my Mochi Baby. Hi, Mochi Baby. By the way, Amelia's being a cat, so if you hear her meowing, it's because she's playing kitty with Mochi. So, anyways, I need to go ahead and sort all of this jewelry oh, that's I'm unlisted. I know, I said that. All this unlisted jewelry I need to sort and decide what I want to sell. And what I've been doing with the stuff that's not worth anything is making bulk bags. Like this right here is a going to be a bulk bag I haven't listed yet. I'm going to fill that up and weigh it and list that as bulk jewelry. This is also jewelry that needs sorted and some of it I might sell. So I really just need to make a pile and go through and sort. Maybe I'll do a video just sorting jewelry. That's my hair. Okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side for now because this is all the jewelry that needs sorted. So the problem is with these jewelry boxes that I was buying, I don't know much about jewelry. So sorting through bulk jewelry um, is not really in my wheelhouse. So I shouldn't be buying it because I don't know what I have. Um, so that's a problem. I was hoping I would learn, but jewelry is so complicated to me. Um, this I should put with my cleaning supplies. This here is actually a jewelry, but this is listed, so I need to find a home for that. Making a little bit of progress, as you can see, I cleared off quite a bit. I put all the jewelry back here in one little corner. This pile is stuff that I need to photograph, so I'm going to finish making room to do that. Okay, kitty, I'll be right with you. And then I filled up this bag of list. This is all listed hard good, hard goods and stuff. So, and one bulk jewelry that I already listed. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs and put this in my hard good bins. Um, it was all just kind of being stored on this tabletop, which was a little unnecessary. So I'm um, almost done clearing this off. I really want to photograph these shoes and bags on this tabletop and go through this jewelry and sort it out. Once I finish that, I should be able to break down this table and get it out of here. I'm planning to do that hopefully by this weekend so that I can make some room to start bringing stuff down. Okay, I have a little cold, so please excuse my voice. It's been a few days, but I was out here working. I actually just posted a video. I was uh, posting a video about skincare. And while I was out here, I finished clearing off this table and I moved it. So what I did is I folded it down and I moved it back here behind my rolling rack for now just so it's out of the way, it's not taking up any space. And now I can get to this floor and I can finally sweep it properly because I just couldn't get back there with all the stuff I had stored. Now I just pulled out, I had my little trash can and those two bins and this little fan. I just pulled those out for now. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this really good back here because it's really dusty and just gross. Um, and a bunch of stuff had fallen back. So anyways, I'm gonna clean this up a bit um, I bought two shelves for now. I think I'm going to go ahead and put at least one of them in here over the next few days. I have to bring them in and build them. They're pretty big. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make some space for that to come in so I can start moving shelves or I'm sorry, bins downstairs. If I have like a shelf, I can do fill a shelf at a time kind of a situation because it's going to be an awkward swap. I have a room full of stuff down here, a room full of stuff up there, and I got to figure out how to swap it. So um, yeah, that's where I am at right now with my planning. So I'm going to clean that up because ew. Okay, you guys, a little update. It's like um, 830 right now at night and I just worked a full day at the insurance office. So I'm a little tired and I'm not looking at my best, but I wanted to give you guys a little update because I'm out in my office right now in my reselling office. I'm working on shipping and putting away inventory and I am having a little bit of a dilemma. So it is December. As you guys know, today is actually the 21st that I'm filming this section of this video. And it's right before Christmas. Nobody has spending money right now. So my sales are so far down. And that's pretty typical for the month of December. December is one of my slowest months of the year. But I feel like my sales have just dropped off a cliff. And I'm nowhere even near what I was doing last year. So I feel like it's not just the fact that it's December and people aren't spending money on things other than Christmas gifts. Um, I believe that there's also a bit of an effect happening from my slowing down on my listing, um, which is unfortunate because <laughs> I really need my sales to be, I'm really just trying to get my sales consistent. And so I, uh, I kind of expected things to slow down. It's just like they slowed down a lot and I'm hopefully going to include some screenshots of where I'm at. So I think I haven't even hit $2,000 in sales this month yet. And I was really trying to stay above 3000 every month on my, in my Poshmark sales. 
Um, I really want to get it up even higher than that. Like I was really trying to maintain over 4,000, but 3,000 was like my minimum. So this month I obviously I'm not even doing half that or barely doing half that. That's scary. So, and I've done a few sales as I've been talking to you guys, I've been, um, I have been doing sales. I sent off out like, um, 50% offer, 50% off offers. I sent out notifications about like, Hey, do a bundle. Do you buy one, get one free? Like I've done a ton of marketing and it's still not happening. So I feel like, Oh, and by the way, my listings right now, even though I have slowed down to only listing four to between four and five items a day. I'm really trying not to do more than four or five items a day because I'm trying to reduce my listings. But if my sales had stayed where they were, that would be bringing my numbers down. Like what my plan was is to actually bring down my inventory numbers, but I'm still at 4757. I haven't moved because uh, my sales have decreased so to the point that listing less stuff I'm just maintaining now which is frustrating it's frustrating so I'm not making progress on my goal to downsize but I'm also making less money so that's not good um so anyways I wanted to give you guys that update because I think I might have to reevaluate how I'm doing this I might just have to I had started already going through I don't think I mentioned it but I had started going through bin by bin and doing like an inventory and pulling out things that I didn't want to sell and I've only gotten through like maybe seven bins doing it like that but I might just have to keep doing that I don't know I'm obviously just this is like trial and error trial and error stage just trying to figure out what's going to work moving forward because as I mentioned the 10 Listing 10 items a day, seven days a week didn't feel like it was working, but I don't know if listing four or five items a day is going to actually help. So back to the drawing board for me. But anyways, I have like, how many things? Where's my list? I have to go pull five items to ship today. That is really, really terrible. <laughs> it's definitely not what I usually ship. So I got to go pull out five items to ship. I have a one full bag of inventory that I can put away now of um, of things that I bagged and tagged. And now my Ikea bags, I'll show you real quick. It's down to like three and a half. So that's good. So here's my Ikea bags. That one's like super full because I was looking for something and move some stuff around. But back there you can see like that one's only half full. So it's getting there. It's a process. Okay, I'm out of breath because I've been loading my car. But I wanted to show you guys just to keep, you know, keep you informed <laughs> what's happening. Not that you guys care that much. But anyways, these boxes here are all going to Goodwill. So I'm about to load them in my car. Um, this week, my kids all decided, all my older girls decided to clean out their closets. And whenever they do that, they bring the stuff to me to go through. And so I ended up with a bag full of stuff to sell. Um, and then a bunch more donations to take out of here. Plus some other miscellaneous stuff that was my office that was in my office that I've just decided to go ahead and let go of. So anyway, I'm going to load all of this into my car and I'm starting to feel a little bit better um, in here. Like it's starting to feel less claustrophobic. I think taking that table out already has made such a big difference. I, I need to make some room um, to start moving stuff down here. So I got to figure out how to do that. Um, but anyway, also um, I have more jeans stacked up here now. So it's just a never ending flow of stuff that welcome to reselling. That's kind of how it works. You know what? Actually, I think the next thing I'm going to do is clear out the next one of these bins. So you guys saw me fill that one with um, listed inventory. This is still unlisted inventory in here. So I'm going to go through all this. Some of the stuff I actually might want to donate. So I should do that now. Um, some of this stuff I got from estate sales that was just probably stuff I shouldn't have bought. So yeah, I think a lot of this I'm going to donate. Um, so I'm going to go through here and decide what needs donated and take out what I'm going to list. And then I can fill this with um, listed inventory and make some more room in here. That would be great. Okay, that only took like a second because most of that was stuff I wanted to donate. I think there was two things that I was planning to list and the rest was donate. Um, things land in there and then I forget about them. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tonight, I, I don't have much time right now. I just came out here to put something away and decided to film real quick. So Amelia's playing with her sisters right now, but tonight when she goes to bed and I come back out to do my work, I will go ahead and fill this bin. Okay, it is now 9 p.m. I just finished doing my photographs for the night and filled that bin 
with new inventory. So now both of those are full. By the way, this is A, Z, bin. So now I'm gonna start through the Bs if I do end up making another bin, which I probably am gonna have to. But this is the exciting part I wanted to show you guys. This one is empty. I kept it here so I could show you it's being pulled out. And now I just have three bags left, one on this side and two on the other side. They're all pretty full. This one's like half full and the other two are, are like overflowing. Here, get this out of the way. Now I've got a pile of bags in my boxes, but and boxes in this corner, but I'm still gonna get around to cleaning that up. All right, and also I did do another load of stain treating, so that's exciting. Um, so anyways, I wanted to give you guys just a quick update on that. Not much has changed. Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. <laughs> I'm going to bed now, so, well, not to bed. I'm going inside now to relax for a little bit before I go to bed, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. All right, shelf number one is here, and I just finished building it. Build, why does that sound weird? I just finished building it. That's correct. Anyway, <clears throat> I was just using this to gauge how much space between each shelf. I'm a little bit worried about something, so let me show you. <clears throat> this loft <sighs> makes the ceiling lower on this, on that side which I was planning to put all the shelves on that side. But if I do that, I can't put bins on the top. I thought that it would be tall enough and it's not. Um, these will fit there, but I won't be able to put bins on the top. So that'll lose two placements on each one. Oh my God, gosh, you guys. <laughs> this project is turning out to be way bigger than I expected. Uh, I'm kind of just, feeling a little rejected by this whole thing. So I don't know what to do, frick. I'm gonna have to like totally re rethink this. Cause okay, originally I was saying I'd have to need, I was gonna need 12 shelves to accommodate the bins that I have now. And <clears throat> 12 shelves down here, <clears throat> while I'm keeping like these shoe shelves, I have to keep my rack and then the built-in shelves that are already existing downstairs. Um, even just 12 shelves would have made it really like tight. Like I was trying to come up with different ideas of how I could turn them and where I would place them to make it fit. And it was going to be tight. In fact, I wasn't even sure if I could do it. <laughs> but now if I lose, um, 12 shelves, two bins, that's 24 space for 24 bins, basically 12 shelves, um, uh, minus two bins on each top shelf. That's 24 bins. I'd have to reduce. Oh God, hopefully you guys are keeping up with my math. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, it's like 9.30 again. I always work at night, so it's usually late and I'm usually a little bit tired. It's probably not helping in <laughs> figuring out what I'm doing here. But so, okay, for now, because it is Christmas right now, it's or no, it's actually Christmas Eve right now. It's Christmas Eve right now. I just finished putting together the stockings for the kids, getting the gifts out, but I still have some more prep to do for tomorrow morning because you know how it is Christmas morning. Busy, busy for moms. So I am going to just stick the shelf where I originally planned and I'm going to look at it later. I'm not going to be able to film again. I really wanted to get like this vlog done before I got really busy because the next few days are going to get a little hectic, um, just like with work and holidays and everything. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get accomplished what I planned. So this vlog might be a little disappointing. I was hoping for a lot more momentum in this vlog to share with you guys and I feel like it just turned out to be a lot of me talking so sorry you guys it's just this is this project is just taking much longer than I expected and I think I might have bit off a little bit more than I can chew so I might have to reevaluate again if you guys have suggestions keep them coming I've been really every suggestion you guys give me I've been reading them all and like taking them in and looking around and trying to see if that will work for me. So I appreciate all of them. They are very, very helpful. But um, like I said, I got to go take care of Christmas stuff now. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this right there in front of where I'm looking and we'll see. Wish me luck. And I guess that's it for this vlog. I'm going to end it here because um, it's going to be a few days till I can get back to this. And I wanted to give you guys an update where I, with where I am. So there's still a lot less stuff in here. I'm pretty happy that I've been able to kind of, you know, I got, I took a lot to Goodwill. I took a lot out to storage and that really did help a lot with freeing 
up this space. So maybe I'm just going to have to do my original plan and just paint this wall. <clears throat> and now I have two shelves that I can, you know, maybe get rid of that brown thing and just use that for extra storage downstairs. Um, cause I needed to expand anyways. And then just like I planned just start slashing inventory, getting rid of old stuff. And anyway, I might have to just do that. All right. Well, thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate you all being here and following me on this journey. Sorry if this one was a little boring, but love you all so much. Have a great night. Merry Christmas or happy holidays to all of you as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.